I want to let you know, in total, there was 11 auctions today and nine got sold. Out of the nine, it included two that had been sold prior. I am letting you know that um, prices, well, what were they like? I've got to get this car out of this driveway, team. I'm really sorry. Prices, what were they like? What were they like? Uh, not, 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 not crazy prices, you know? And I'm actually getting a little bit I'm actually getting uh, a little bit fed up when uh, some agents carry on. Oh, we sold this record price, blah, 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 right? And then they go online and they talk it up. They talk the market up. And then they go in and they see other vendors that they can't sell their properties for. And they tell them, oh, we've had 12, 13 rate rises. The market's not good, right? Do you actually think, do you actually think your vendors aren't watching what you're posting on social media once they've appointed you? Do you think that they're not curious to see what you're actually saying? And we've got real estate agents that walk around having two stories. The story that makes them feel good when they talk about it on social media, and then they go off and they tell the owners, oh, life's really, really hard. Well, guess what? You look like a liar because your audio doesn't match your video. End of story, right? Tell it as it is. Tell the damn truth, as McGrath says. Tell the damn truth. So I'm going to tell you the damn truth, right? So those nine properties, what's that? That ratio I've given you, it's about 75%. One of the sad ones was a property that got bought for 2250000 a year ago. And guess what happened with that property? Nothing, nothing happened. And it's gonna be hard going for that person. Like if that person even sells their property, if that person even sells their property for say uh, 2.2 million, you know, they're losing money between stamp duty, solicitor's fees, um, agent's costs, etc., etc. They're losing money, so team, I've got to say to you, anyone that is reselling a property that was bought within the last 18 to 24 months is going to have a problem. There are some people that have done it and they'll get their money just back, but that is the painful time period. If you are selling within a period of one and a half or maybe even two years, and it's back on the market, you're going to struggle. And it's really obvious. You don't need to actually be a scientist to work out. If someone is selling within a couple of years, it most likely will be a sale that has been triggered because of interest rate and loan repayments going up. And that was uh, the case of uh, a number of properties that I had today. However, don't forget, team, Good real estate people, they don't care about good or bad markets or high absorption or low absorption markets because great real estate agents have one job. Interpret the market, tell vendors as it is, tell vendors what they need to hear, not what they'd like to hear, to tell them at the start and not list it high and that stupid thing where you go in, you overprice it and you pull out a sledgehammer to smash owners down. Does it work? Uh, it works for one year. Not with reviews anymore. The word will get out. The word will get out and you won't have a long-term sustainable career. So no. But the other thing I want to talk to you about today, team, is guess what? The data is starting to become available about who's left in real estate. So let me give you some interesting information. And you can actually read uh, across some of the media. I think the ABC carried the report in Queensland where droves of agents, droves of agents. Uh, how many par properties passed in today, says uh, Samih? Um, I think it was three. I think I think it was, I've actually just forgotten. It was nine out of 12, I think. Um, so that's three. Um, and all I've got to say to you is that the exodus of real estate agents has begun. That's begun. You know what? They came in when the market was going up. They got themselves a nice tailored suit, got themselves dressed up 
might have even taken a car lease and upgraded their car. And they sort of got by. They got by 2020 and 2021. And uh, they may have even got by in 2022, but they're not getting by in 2023. The big exodus is there. And where are they heading? They were easy come, easy go, these real estate agents. Easy come. They came from uh, JB Hi-Fi. They came from Politics Menswear. They came from David Jones. They came from Uber. They came from the hospitality industry. They came from being baristas. They saw all the bright lights, shiny cars. They saw all the swank. But guess what, team? All swank, no bank at the end of the day. That's what actually happened. And I've got to tell you, who's staying in real estate? The people that are hardworking, the people that have got a loyal client base, the people that know their job, the people that tell people the truth and they've been able to have a long-term sustainable career, they're still in real estate. They were there before the boom and they're going to be there after the boom. You don't want to be known as the real estate agent that walks through a shopping center that I see that says, I was once in real estate, Tom. Team, signing off.